Hey guys, Matt from Just Wrench It here. Today I'm going to show you how to convert over your shop or garage lighting, the fluorescent style tube lights. Uh, mine are going to be the four foot. You can apply this to just about any uh, fluorescent light. Uh, you just buy the appropriate size bulbs. I'm going to show you how to bypass the ballast to be able to use these, uh, these new upgraded bulbs. They're going to last longer, they're going to save you money, and they're going to produce better light. So it's going to be a really good upgrade for your garage or your shop or in my case uh, mine here that I'm doing now is in the basement. So uh, if you like my content, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. It's very important. And I will put a link in the description below where to find these bulbs on Amazon. If you're looking for them, I'll probably do the four foot bulbs that I'm using. But, of course, you can look and search for your specific size and style and then, uh, you know, go ahead and perform the job accordingly. Without further ado, let's get into the video, guys. So the first thing that you want to do is unplug your light if you have a plug, I do, but if you should happen to have a direct connection, you want to find the appropriate breaker for the line that you're working on, and you want to turn that breaker off. Also, you're probably going to want to hang a note for people in your household to know not to touch the breaker while you're working wait a minute I don't know that might not work there we go that's gonna work no one will touch it okay so the first thing that you want to do here once you have your light off is to go ahead and open the shroud that's hiding the wiring now on this fixture here, mine's held in by two flathead screws. So just grab a screwdriver and undo these screws and pull off the shroud. Once you have your wiring exposed, you can see the ballast connections here, yellow side, and the other side with the AC coming in and the red and blue connections to the opposite terminals. You want to get some wire cutters and you want to cut these connections to the ballast. Then you want to disconnect the AC from the ballast and the ballast is held in by these little screws, well bolts, and you just undo the bolt and then lift up the ballast. This is primarily all the weight for the ballast. You're going to save about five pounds on your fixture. So then with the yellow side go ahead and just bunch these up and wrap them in some electrical tape there's not going to be any connections on this side so that'll all be safe and there we go nice and tight on the other side here you have your AC coming in you have a black and a white that's your power and your neutral and then you have your ground what's grounded to the fixture leave that alone cut the red and blue wires to size for what you need and then strip the ends of the red and blue wires now here's the important part you want one leg of each fixture to go to one leg of each of the AC terminals so one red and one blue connected to the white and then one red and one blue connected to the black. I use some wire nuts here and I put the wire nuts on the connections. This is going to be secure and keep anything from shorting out. And now we're all done. Your connections are made and we're going to plug in our light and test our bulbs. Now that you've got it plugged in, before you put the shroud back on, you want to take a look at your bulb these new style LED bulbs are polarity sensitive and usually before you just slap it in check the bulb there's one side 
that usually has a marking here, AC input in this end only. That's the only end that's going to have your power connection. So you want to make sure you put that end where you made your connections to your live terminals and pop in the bulb and there we go. It works just fine. Now you want to take it and throw it in the other socket to make sure that has a good connection as well. And there we go. That side works as well. So we're all done. You can wrap it up and hang up your light. And here we go, the finished product. Bulb's going to last a really long time, and you're going to save some money on the cost of running this light. The light's also much fuller. Thanks, guys.